Now, let's get to the good stuff. The good stuff. Sam Wise, don't stop DCA. I mean, it would make sense, but I mean, we just talked about it. <laughs> really worth the advice in the janitor. That's funny. <laughs> Rusty Bot says, somebody says I spend too much time watching crypto stuff, but I try to tell them, it's your wife, I try to tell them that diamonds don't come out of the ground. So after tax and diamonds, I hope to break even. That's true. This is a weird, it's not a weird, this is an emerging asset class. You can't do things without being on top of it every day of the week. So by you being here, you're doing your job and your job is to make sure that you don't let anything fall through the cracks. Let your, you can tell your wife, I told you so when, you know, you move to Puerto Rico or you move to Kitts Island or you move to some beautiful place and you're just like, told you all, all they had to do was just work a little bit harder on a couple of things. Now let's go play beach tennis or whatever. And that's it. Favorite philosopher. There's two Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus. Now they were Stoics and Stoicism. If you can get behind that philosophy, especially for, uh, investing, especially long-term investing for the long haul, I think it's the it 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 goes hand in hand. There is a link in the description. It's uh, to the Daily Stoic, DailyStoic.com by uh, Ryan Holiday, and he puts out some great information. It's 100% free, and it just kind of reminds you of just to stay the course, to be a little bit more stringent on the things that you want to do, and kind of to take a look at what's really really important out there. And that's something I can't. I should do a video on just that that itself. What I really need to do is reach out to Ryan Holiday and see if he can come on the channel just to talk about these things. Because if you're looking for a little mental strength, that is the that is the way to do it, for sure. Old Bear says still severely lacking these days. Absolutely, I have to agree. Too many times we take a look at um, the gratification. We want it now. We want it here. We want it without stress and very free. It doesn't work like that. Anything that's really good takes a lot. It takes stress and takes time. And let's see. DCAing without using technicals or macro is the way to lose a lot of money. Yeah, I mean, kind of. I, I think it's not so much DCAing to buy because it's easy. Here's, a, here's the thing. Buying crypto is brainless. Let me say that again. Buying crypto is brainless. You don't need many, much intelligence to, to hear the word, buy the dip. Yeah, I'll buy the dip. Now buy the dip and see where the dip's again. I'll buy the dip again. Not making fun of you because I said the same thing. I want to buy the dip today. So the big thing is, is taking a look at the technicals, just like Predix is talking about, taking a look at the macro events and saying, you know what? This would be a good time probably to take some profits because nobody ever broke doing that. And I'm going to take a look at when things are overheated and go, you know what? This is the time for me. This is what's important for my family, not for some imaginary uh, crypto community that's telling me to diamond hands forever because that's just what they tell me, even though in the background, uh, these, these whales who were probably responsible for, for starting the diamond hands mantra are dumping on me so just remember that <laughs> benny oh benny i i think you got here late so i'm gonna let that one slide no more dca why do we look on these shows the advice is so upside down watch the video don't be a thumbnail investor and that's another thing you take a look at the thumbnail and title like what no more dcaing this guy's a clown Oh, where is this one? Rob, you're such a shill. Just flopping your values depending on who is paying you. You know, I think if... Uh, let's see. What's the, what's the thing that nobody likes? If the Black Licorice Company came to me and said, Rob, we want to pay you a million dollars to promote Black Licorice. First, I would say, absolutely. Now I'd probably say no, because I don't drink, I don't eat black licorice and it's disgusting anyhow. So why would I do that? So that was the one. So as far as like shilling and uh, on who's paying you. So like, let me remove this. Torio says, I really hate your clickbaity tiles. Listen, pal, 
I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I didn't say, did, was the title I am not DCAing ever? It was stopping DCA question mark. And I took you through the whole progress. Like, because I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should stop DCAing. And I went through my thought process and I said, this is what I would take a look at. Say, well, if I stop DCAing and I miss all this hard parts, then I wouldn't go ahead. It is, was the, was the title that clickbaity? Because if it is that bad, and I get a lot of comments. I will change it to, I'm not going to stop DCAing. But the question was, should I, what was it? What did I actually say? Oh, that's the title. No more crypto DCA, dollar cost average, question mark. And then I said stopping DCA. So I think you look at that and maybe you're assuming I'm stopping the DCA. I don't know. All right. I'm not... Uh, well, if it was clickbait, I'll change it. So if I get a lot of people saying that was a clickbait title and I, and I, and I clicked on it and damn it, that was the exact opposite or that was that it that had nothing to do with what you talked about, then I will change it. <laughs> no, it's fine. Don't worry. Okay. Well, that was easy. I do like those comments though. When when uh, the, I like the shill comments and it's a clickbaity title and this and that because then it gets to for us to you know really start to talk about the things because if if you everybody just comes here and it's an echo chamber well that's kind of worthless. Sometimes I appreciate the people that come in and go, "Damn it, you suck!" and da da da. Wow, why do I suck? Because sometimes I'll be honest with you guys. Sometimes I have done some pretty clickbaity titles. I remember there was one that was really pissed people off. It was about, I said, uh, and, and it was clickbaity because I didn't realize it. It, it, it was a uh, Ethereum hack. Uh, there was an Ethereum hack or something like that. And it was something on, I think it was wormhole or something. And then uh, I got so many people that said, that's a clickbait title. I was like, shoot, maybe it is. And then of course it was. So I, had to I changed it. Yeah. Can't get them all right. <laughs> low iq you should stop dcm because bitcoin market makers are getting wrecked well i can't disagree with you on that one yes exactly i make a plethora of mistakes hi from lithuania john's got a good question john Skora. rob what do you think the chances are for sec calling eth and other altcoin securities pretty high especially after the FTX issue, because obviously FTX isn't, isn't Bitcoin and crypto, but the people that make the laws, they don't know any better. So uh, it's like Ted Cruz said, there was an interview he talked about, he said, you know, and he gets it because he's in Texas and he sees all the miners and he sees the, the job creation and it's working out pretty well, especially for his constituents. And he takes a look and goes, look, because I, I work in the Senate, worked in there for many years. And uh, I can tell you right now, I think five people can tell you what a Bitcoin is. He goes, so in that situation, it's going to be hard. They're probably going to overregulate and it's going to be tough. He goes, what they should do is get more information and go from there. Problem is, the, here's the problem. They answer to all the people in their, <clears throat> all their constituents, all the, all the people in their territories. So when you got people, this many people who lost so much in FTX, and they go to an Elizabeth Warren and go, look, I just lost $100,000, $10,000, million, 2,500 bucks, whatever it is. And she keeps getting that over and over and over again. She's going to be like, I need to take action because that's what I do. It's what a politician does. I want to show them I'm working for them. And then, of course, they can reelect me and it's going to be awesome. Great. And sometimes you just get ahead of it, ahead of yourself because emotions get you. How many times do we get emotional when we trade? So in that situation, I think there's a lot emotions are going to run high. They're going to start to push the legislation through and it's going to be very tough unless we get, unless cooler heads prevail. But that's why I'm so happy. Like when, uh, you know, the blockchain Alliance and like uh, you've got uh, heads of heads of projects going up there and talking to them like, like a Charles Hawkinson. I'd like to see 
uh, the CEO of Bitcoin. I'm just kidding. I would like to see uh, Vitalik Buterin up there and, and, and talk to him uh, about what it is that Ethereum does and why it's not a security. That would be fantastic. And that's what we need. <laughs> Crypto contrarian. In your opinion, Rob, knowing that Hex outperformed both Bitcoin and ETH in the last bull run, while offering the option to stake and earn trustless yield, why do people still avoid it and call it a scam? It's probably because a lot of people don't like Richard Hart. That's really what it comes down to. And, and I'm not going to get into it about is it a scam or not, but uh, Richard Hart is a very polarizing creature. And uh, it's one of the problems, I think. But I think Hex will do just fine. I mean, there's a very large concentration of those wallets. You don't have to worry about things getting dumped right now. Yeah, that's it. Uh, I've actually had Richard Hart on the show. Decent guy. Of course, watch. I'll say that, and someone will, will, will cut that later when something happens with Richard Hart. Like, uh. Rob, I like today's green screen. Beautiful. <clears throat> Marcus Aurelius with an emperor and a very wise man. Absolutely. <clears throat> Bunch of Gary Potts. Gary, Gary watches the show, so I don't. He would probably comment himself. <clears throat> David said it's kind of clickbaiting. Maybe, maybe. See, maybe right in the middle. Maybe everybody's right. It's kind of clickbaity. I should make it a little bit clearer. Let's see. Okay, everybody. This is where we come together. <clears throat> How do I make this a better title? Where is everybody? Where'd you guys go? Let me share my screen. Nope, that's not right. Okay. No more crypto DCA. How about I put maybe no more DCA? Just leave it? Okay, I'll just leave it. Good enough. Uh, where? Uh, oh, it's a great question. Rob, what's your DGEN opinion on crypto gaming platforms like you, UOS or VRA? I think uh, crypto gaming is the future. I think if there's going to be an actual utility utility, I think that's uh, one of the big ones. So I know that the, the gaming community is up in arms because they don't want to see nfts because they think it's not it's another cash grab which i can totally understand like um what is the uh fortnite fortnite's a huge game and it was the first it was one of the first games or the i think in under a year i want to say the revenue was it a billion let me see first of all does anybody know what fortnite is Uh, let's say this. Whoa. Fortnite. That's not right. Fortnite revenue. Yeah. It was the fastest game to generate a billion dollars. And it's a, it's a free-to-play game. How does that work out? Well, it works out pretty easy. It's uh, you let everybody come in there for free. And then you charge them on the different things that they're like weapons and skins and things like that. Here's the revenue of Fortnite. <laughs> Five billion dollars. Yeah. So how of course how they now when the gamers come out and they go, oh, now we gotta get NFTs. How much are you gonna screw us over for that? They don't want that. They don't get it yet. They don't get it that even though you buy skins and things like that, you can't cross them over into other games and do other things with them. It doesn't work. With NFTs, uh, depending on, of course, the centralization versus decentralization of, of the games, uh, you can take them with you. And that's it. So I think it's definitely uh, definitely the next big thing. Should we ape on sweat? Yeah, I mean, look, you can get sweat right now for lower than I got it. And I got it in on, uh, I paid a penny like a penny and a half per sweat coin. I think it's even below that now. So, no, not the, it's a, it's a pretty good time maybe to take a look at it. But I think it'll go lower. So, maybe just DCA. What? 
Rob, get to the real news. BitBoy was punked by a security guard. <laughs> I, don't know. Uh, I will say everybody's talking about that. And that's all I can say about that. I think it's, he's, she's, I guess he's going to uh, the Bahamas to look for Sam Bakeman Fried. <laughs> Damn it, Rob, I sold all my crypto because of your title. Uh, no, this is a good one. Greetings from Arrakis. What's your life goal? Well, I mean, if you if your life goal, and when I was younger, it was all accumulation, make a bunch of money, have a good family, and all that stuff, you know. But really accumulate. And now the life goal is, you know, when you have some, when you have enough, hopefully you figure out when enough is. And my life goal is to improve myself and help to improve the people around me. That's the goal, and that's pretty much it. I don't buy a bunch of stuff. I mean, I don't really need a bunch of stuff. I mean, these days, the things I look forward to is just dinner. Uh, I do a intermittent fasting, do the OMAD, the one meal a day. That's the only thing I really look forward to during the day. Spend time with my wife, see the kids, um, play beach tennis and beach volleyball. That's, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Ah, discuss crypto. Okay. It makes sense to take profits. You're putting 100,000 into a lot, hoping for a 23%. Us middle class are putting 100,000 for the lows so we can afford to wait. Yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of it, Brother Joe. And this is a good point. Like, it's a great point, actually. If you're just, if you're here for the long run, you know, this is, it's not a big deal. But the thing is, you got to understand is that I don't know how long this bear market is going to go. So far, this is the second longest bear market crypto has ever faced. I think we we surpassed already 365. I, think, I want to say the longest was, no, no, it was 375 days. I think the longest so far is 390 days uh, that we saw. So this will definitely be the longest bear market we have, which to me is just a long time to accumulate. And that's it. CPR says you need macro explanation. I do. I go from there. <laughs> no more shills. He's my affiliate. <laughs> let's see i think that's it mountain man yeah so this is it. mark says money money thrown into a sinking ship with dca will only be proven lost cause this time around a longer bear market with less returns in the next two years mark could be right you know that that's the thing about about investing you never know however I will say that the bear markets last forever. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure bull markets don't. So bear markets don't last forever either. It just depends on your time horizon. <laughs> this time is different? No, it's never different. Uh, I've got a ledger and I suggest some applications use with whatever your exchange is that's uh, open to you and you can use. Just remember to take it off. That's it. <laughs> uh, yeah, lock that hex up for 20 years. Give you a great return. It's true. F2 Vitalik. How about an Andreas Antonopoulos? That's also a solid candidate. I got to say, I got to tell you, I haven't seen Andreas Antonopoulos in a while. I, mean, I don't know if he's still around. I'm sure he is, but I just don't, maybe just doesn't come up my feed too much. <laughs> the title should be DCA till I die. Nah. You have to understand, guys, at some point, at some point I will be out of this, out of this market. I mean, at least... Grand total, 80%. I'll still have 20% around, and this channel will probably go away too because, you know, at some point it just won't interest me, you know. I mean, we we think about it like like we're going to be here forever, but you never know. So, like, you know, for these videos and things like that, it's fun to do it daily, but at some point, yeah, it doesn't last forever. So, I mean, 
I'll still be here for quite some time. I'm not going away anytime soon. I'm just telling you. I think that's it. DCA gang. EOS is dead. EOS is the future of the future. What remains to be seen. That's right. Sweat for walking. Darth Mike. Fortnite started life as a failed tower defense game for full price when it failed the developers stole the battle royal idea from PUBG. And made it, I did not know that. It's fascinating. Uh, if you want to follow anything about the future of gaming, uh, go follow Crypto Stash and his, his guys. They know everything. Lil Bicky, Lil Meme, Lil Dez. Mm, repair the world. Well, we try. And then next week, uh, as a reminder, we'll be at uh, San Juan Smokehouse. I guess got to clear it uh, with the guys over there and just to see if we can we can go. So next week, if you're in Puerto Rico, come on by. I think let's shoot for Thursday. The first round of beers are always on me. And that's it. And then Low IQ says, will eat stakers ever see their eats back? Yeah, they will, it's just no one knows really when. There was a six to 12 month time horizon, but now it looks like that's a little bit off. The Shanghai upgrade is supposed to happen. That's when it's gonna be, but they don't really know exactly when. So we'll know. And that's it. All right, buddy, I gotta get out of here. It's a beautiful day, go enjoy it. Anyhow, everybody, thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. If you like today's video, give it a thumbs up. Always consider subscribing, time sensitive, all that good stuff. And uh, that's it. So thanks so much. Appreciate you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Adios.